Hey guys, what's going on? This is Christopher Z here, and Mikey e. Allstar here, and today we have a pretty much a minifigure showcase, but it's pretty big. I'm showcasing all, well, most of my Star Wars customs that I've made throughout the years, and yeah. So first I'm going to start off with the first one that I ever made, and then I'm going to just go through the order of the movies. So yeah, and let me know if you want to see these in more detail, because I'm not going to go too in detail with these guys because there are so many of them but yeah so comment down below if you want to see these guys in greater detail and I'll do it so yeah enjoy the video and here he is my very first custom um I think I made this in like either it was 2010 or 2011 I can't remember but this guy is pretty old he is uh, a camouflage trooper. Originally I was like, oh hey, I'm going to make someone that's camouflage. But now I realize that this would technically be a Kashyyyk trooper, but whatever. So this guy is made with marker, with Sharpie. Because this was before I used paint markers and stuff. Yeah. He just has a normal cone head, I believe, under that. Yep. So yeah, this guy... He's pretty cool, but he's not the greatest custom. And here is my only custom from episode 1, I think. So I have so many customs, I'm not sure if I got all of them out of my boxes, but I'm pretty sure I did. Alright, so technically this guy isn't exactly custom, it's Obi-Wan. And in the original set, it was like, I think it was called Anakin and Saboba's Pod... Pod Racers or something like that. But he had a hood and a cape, and I was like... I mean, that was cool, but I wanted to have him with hair, so I just put brown hair on top of that. And this is my favorite Obi-Wan. The newer one from the Gungan submarine. I don't like as much because it has red hair. Well, yeah. But Obi-Wan didn't have that color hair at the time. It was more darker than it is in the Clone Wars and Episode 2 and 3. And he does have a custom lightsaber I made a few weeks ago. It, it turned out okay. I've been wanting to lose, do this for a while, but I haven't. And I just gave it to him, because it is technically based off of his Episode 1 lightsaber. That's it on this guy, and let's move on to the next one. Now this one, once again, is a pretty old custom. Since the new Django came out in 2013, I believe this one came out, well, I made it in 2011, and then I changed it. Wait, 2011. This is not the original Django that I made. The original one was a little more detailed. I think if you look at one of my first minifigure, my custom minifigure showcases, you will see him. I'm not sure if it's the super detailed one or this one, but I don't know. Alright, so this one is based off the one in the Lego Star Wars The Clone Wars, uh, Lego Star Wars free video game, I guess. And you, yes, you do see Django in that one. In the first level, you play in the Geonosian arena for some reason. But I guess that is technically the start of the Clone Wars. So I guess it makes sense. And you see Django, and I, I was watching Django a lot, and I saw that he looked a lot like this. So I redid my Django and made him look like this. That's about it, it on him. This is one of my favorite customs because it was before the new Django came out so yeah that's about it on him and here is my custom Count Dooku I'm not sure when I made this one either there are a lot of customs I made a while ago that I can't remember exactly when I did it I think this one is a little newer maybe 2012 I know I had him in 2012 but I think I made him in 2012 but this was before they made the really detailed awesome Count Dooku and um, one day I was just messing around and I saw that Obi-Wan old Obi-Wan's head looked pretty close to Count Dooku and if you put it on a Count Dooku body it is Count Dooku so it's pretty cool that's why I did that it's just the Clone Wars Count Dooku body with just the head because sure the Clone Wars one is okay I guess but I prefer the movie one. Alright, let's move on to the next one. 
And now we've gotten into episode 3. This is my second custom. When I first had this custom, I put it in my Clone Wars bin because I have three bins for 1 through 3, 4 through 6 in Clone Wars. I put them in here because that's what I made them for, Clone Wars. But then about a year ago, I was sorting through those again, my bins, because every so often I sort through them, make sure everything's right. And I know it's like, hey, this is a Kashyyyk Trooper, what is it doing here? So I moved it to the episode 3 bin. 1 for free, that is. He's an alright custom. Like I said before, it's my second custom. Personally, if I did it today, I would have done it differently because of the body. But everything else, I think, turned out pretty good. To make the video go by a little faster, I decided just to put these guys together. These two are obviously from episode 3. They were originally... Just, they had white arms and white legs, but I decided to add a little more detail. I added two red arms to this guy, and it looked just so much better than white. So, yeah. And this guy, he looks really cool like that. I think I might have based it off of Commander Bly. I'm pretty sure. I'm not sure. That's it on those guys. I didn't really paint anything on them. I just added arms and legs, and it made them look better. And now we have this guy. I believe he is a sergeant, if I remember correctly. It doesn't matter, but of course he is from episode 3. There's one more episode 3 custom after this, and then we get on to the Clone Wars, the biggest line of customs. And this is one of my earlier customs. I'm surprised that it turned out this good. I mean, it's pretty good for what I was doing back then. I mean, yeah. It's like one of my... It's like maybe... My third custom, maybe, I can't remember, it was a while ago. That's better it on him. You've seen him in other videos too, I think. And here is my last custom. Technically, this guy is a Clone Wars and an Episode 3 guy. How is he a Clone Wars, you might ask? Well, he is a Snow Trooper. Originally, that is what I designed him to be, a Snow Trooper. He is Commander Redfeather. Uh, you don't know who that is because I made him up, but I'll show you guys that in a second. He's a Clone Wars figure, and I designed this because I wanted him to have, like, snow trooper armor. But then I decided that this could also be a Marine from Episode 3, because I'm pretty sure that's the only time that you see them in Episode 3. That's about, that's, yeah, that's about it on this guy. Yeah, he's pretty cool. I'm not sure when I made him, but... Might have been in 2011 also. So he's a pretty early custom. And now, another one of my early customs. This might have been in 2011. I'm pretty sure it was extremely early. Because I know that that blue handprint is Sharpie. If you don't recognize this guy already, it is Echo. From the Clone Wars, of course. And this is the very first version of Echo that you see in, like, episode... Six or something like that in the first season. I can't remember the exact episode. Yeah. But he's pretty cool. He's pretty basic, but I think it's just pretty cool. And then later I added that red visor. I'm not sure what I had originally. I might have been thinking about painting a red visor, but I didn't for some reason. I just waited it out and they released that. So yeah. Next character. Again, to save time, I... Decided to put these two together because I pretty much made one and then moved on to the next one. And I think maybe the same day. These guys are pretty cool. I think they're from 2012. Early 2012 maybe. Late 2011. Like I said before, I can't remember most of these when I made them. These guys are pretty cool. If you cannot tell already, but I hope most of you can. They are ARF Troopers. They are actually pretty detailed. These are actually two of my favorite figures that I made for the Clone Wars customs. They turned out really nice. They're not based off of anything. I just made them myself out of ideas. Alright, next character. And here is my custom clone squadron. This is a squadron that I made up that my friend and I used to play this game. That these guys used to be in it because they were my squadron because I was a Jedi. And this is the leader, Commander Redfeather. Yes, the name does ring a bell because I just showed you the Snow Trooper version of him. 
he is the leader of this uh, squadron. He's pretty cool. Um, he's gone through a lot of changes throughout the years. I've had him probably since 2011, most likely. And he's gone through a lot of changes. He used to just be... You just had a feather, an arrow, um, not an arrow, an antenna, the two armor pieces, and just red arms. But now, he's changed a lot. And I recently just updated him early 2012. And this guy, all of these guys have actually gone through major changes. They used to be just shinies, and then I started adding red arms, and then I finally got in to just decide to customize them, because I like these guys a lot. And here are the two best troops in his little group. We've got Target. He is basically the Hawkeye of clones. He never misses a shot. He's got a Mandalorian gun that he stole from a Mandalorian. Because he won in a shooting competition. That's why it is silver. And he looks pretty cool. And here is his best friend. His name is Shock. He believes that the bigger gun you have, the more manly you are. So of course he has the quad gun. He is the first figure that I ever made with a quad gun. He had the original, my prototype quad gun. And now he has my... One of my newer quad guns, it's a snow trooper quad gun. We've got Ranger, they are also pretty close friends. He is an ARF trooper, of course. And he's gone through a lot of changes as well. I mean, he used to not have that armor piece, he used to have a different helmet, a cape. Just, he's just been pretty customized. We've got, I believe this guy's named Arrow. Uh, there's another guy, Eclipse, but... He is over on the Beatles stage, the mock that I made a while ago, and he's not as detailed as this one, so I decided just to leave it with this guy. He is really, really detailed. He is personally one of my favorite clones as well, and this guy is just a random ARF trooper. That's it on the Red Squadron, and this guy is probably my favorite custom I've ever made. And now this guy. Alright, so this guy is the leader of my bomb squad. He doesn't really have a name. I think I might have named him, like, Commander Domino or something. I don't know, but really this guy doesn't have a name. I've had him for about a year, I think. I think I did it last year. No, I did it in 2012. Because I have ten bomb squad troopers and I wanted to have a leader, so I made this guy. Alright, next character. Once again, to save time, I'm going to go with these three guys, even though they are not related whatsoever. This guy is just an ARF trooper. He used to be uh, Commander Ares or something like that, but I changed him to just be a normal ARF trooper, because I didn't really need a commander of the ARF troopers. And we've got this guy. This is the guy that I experimented on. The very first of my clone troopers one of the only of my clone troopers, I think there's like two others, that have battle scars. See that? He's got some red marks and stuff from cuts from battle. He's a pretty cool guy. And the last one is, um, I'm not sure what to call this guy. He is pretty much an elite trooper, I guess. I made him for the clone army custom... Um, entry to the contest that Noble Artist had a while ago. So most of you have probably seen this guy, but I just decided to put him in here anyways. He's not bad. He is actually an older figure that I made a while ago. I did some updates to him, like some of the silver marks up there and on his arms were not there. But I did it for the contest. I added those to make him look cooler. Yeah, he's pretty cool. He's not one of my favorite figures, but, eh, whatever. And now we're in episode 5. I'm pretty sure I do not have any episode 4 customs. I'm not 100% sure, of course, but most likely I don't, because I barely even customized the 4 through 6 guys. Except for these, I think, yeah, I have two more figures after this. They're all Luke's that I made custom, because they do not have... These guys, well they do, but they haven't released them recently as flesh-colored. 
Like, this is the Bespin Wook. The Wook in training, I mean. Yeah, Wook in training, my bad. On Dagobah. I made this a while ago after seeing episode 5 for like the billionth time. I saw, I was like, hey, I want to make that figure. So I did. Then I took him apart for some odd reason. And I built him again recently, like last year, I think. And he's pretty basic. He just has tan pants and a tank top, I guess. And he just has the classic Luke head. And that's it on him. Now here is the Bespin Luke. This one I've had for a pretty long time. I've had since probably 2011, I think. He's one of my oldest customs. Now this body is from, I think, a Lego education set. It's like the janitor guy or something like that. Because I do not have the original Luke Bespin that came out in like, what, what was it, like 2005 maybe? Probably even later than that. So, that is actually the same body, and on the one from, like, whatever that year was from. He has a belt, so I added a belt onto him, and he's got just, of course, the Luke flesh face. The older one from, like, what was it, like, 2011 or 12, maybe? I don't remember. That's about it on this guy, and now the last custom. Alright, actually, this is not the last custom, I just remembered... A couple more figures I forgot. It's actually a group of three, so that will be the last custom. This is the last custom loop that I made. I have three custom loops, of course, and we just saw those. And this is the Endor loop. Now, I do actually have the original Endor loop. I have two for some reason, and I found an extra one of these helmets from Endor, the Endor Troopers. I looked at all my Endor Troopers. All of them had helmets, so I'm really not sure where I got that from. But this is the Endor Luke. He has the original Endor body. The only thing that's different is his head and the flesh-colored hand. I mean his head. Yeah, I said head. Never mind. And of course the green lightsaber. It's a pretty basic guy, but he looks pretty cool. And the last custom of this video. A while back in like maybe 2012 or 2011, I used to be really big into assassin droids and I wanted to make my own custom assassin droids. This is the very first custom assassin droid I made. The best and my favorite, that is. Because he has pretty much plain colors and stuff and it all matches, unlike some of these other guys. So yeah, this is my favorite. He would be the leader of this group. This guy is pretty cool also. He doesn't match like this guy, but he's, he's pretty close. And this guy actually has a jetpack. Yeah, it's pretty cool. He's got a custom gun that I made a while ago. For no reason at all. And that is actually all the customs. Yay! Thanks for watching, guys. This was a pretty long video. I mean, I don't know how long it is right now, but I'm guessing about 20 minutes. So yeah, thanks for watching, and sorry it was so long. But now you've seen all my custom Star Wars guys. Yeah, that's all of them right there. It's a lot. And remember, comment down below if you want to see any of these guys in greater detail. Just say, I want to see whoever in greater detail. If you don't know the name of it, like, say, I don't know the name of this guy. I, I'm not sure if it's an ARF trooper or something. So I say, hey, can you review the blue guy? And I'll say, sure, because I know exactly who that is, because it's that guy right there. And also, comment down below, and tell me which one is your favorite. So yeah, and I'll see you guys later. Bye!